Hello dear creative, welcome to another tutorial. This is Radiance Creation Online Training. In this video, what I'll be showing you is how to make our favorite waffle turban. Let us get started guys. I have the materials here that I'll be using for this design. And I'll be using velvet material. This is a velvet material. If you go to market, you ask, just ask for velvet material. And I know it is not new in the market. So I'll be using these two colors. This is red color and this is white color. I also need my screen line. This is TV wide. The width is TV yards, TV, TV inches. So you need like two yards of screen line. You need to thread on your office pin with your scissors and tin proof. So let us get started, guys. For the turban, the, we will be using the V shape, a V shaped turban. And I have, my, I have it cut out already. The measurement I'll be using for the hair circumference, since this is a stretchy, it's very stretchy material. So I'll just be using 22 inches with the sewing allowance, making 22 inches. I'll be using 21 with the sewing allowance, making 22 inches. You know, normally you're supposed to use 20 inches with the sewing allowance, but I'll be making use of 22 inches. And the width is 14 inches. You can decide to reduce or increase the width. So for the V shape, I have my material cut out here. So I have 13 by 4 inches. For me, 13 inches and for me, 4 inches. So I'll just take my office pin now. I will pin it down. The, right, the wrong side facing the wrong side. I'll just pin it. I know this is not new to most of us here. We know how to make our V shape for, but for the beginners, I will be explaining it to them. So just pin it down, cross it. So you just place it on each other, you cross it this way. You are dealing with a cross band. So you cross it this way and pin it down. And place it on the body of the turban. So this is the body of the turban. This is where I'll be using. I'll not place it like this. First of all, get the center of the turban, the body, and not shake with your scissors. So after not shake, place the band, the middle of the band here, on the on where you notch and pin it down. So you take this one also like this, you pin it down. And the other band the same way, pin it down. And take it to your sewing machine and sew straight. So you take it to your sewing machine now, you take it like this and sew straight. When you are sewing, make sure you dress this way before you sew and don't sew on your office so that it won't break your machine thread. And machine it when so you sew it straight. I'll go and sew it now and show you the next thing. So I already formed the V shape. This is the V shape now. So the back, look at the back. You have SS, just trim it out. Just trim it out. So thereafter, just place it the right side, fade in the right side. The right side facing the right side and you cut out you nail like four inches or three inches from this side let me say three inches you trace it out you nail three inches and you cut out with this just cut out and that that is what i'm going to do so on the part I cut out, I'll just take it to my sewing machine and sew. So I have something like this. I'll just take it to my sewing machine. I'll sew the band from the band to this side. Just sew the band from the band to this side. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you the next thing. So I've already sewed it. Now you take your video and thread, do a running stitches on where you sew. Just do a running stitches and turn it out. Make sure you use a machine thread and knot it. Thereafter, you just turn it out. So I will first set this one aside now and we'll move on to our 
colorful. So this is the material I'll be using for my rough day. Very, 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 very colorful. It's like crinoline. You know, crinoline, the crinoline width is 6 inches. In food, I have 6 inches. I'm supposed to add half inch with this crinoline, with this satin I'm using. But since it's not a non stretching material, this is a stretching material. So I use the 6 exactly the 6 inches by 65. If you decide to increase your own, it depends on your choice. So now I will just use my first of all make sure you tie or go on this side so that by the time it's going inside your inside your material it will be very easy to <coughs> so that it will easily go inside your material. Now I will use my I mean, safety pin and put it inside my material. Is the office pin the safety pin I will be using it to Move it forward just like this. So that is what I'm going to do. I'll come out from the other end.